China received its first S-400 regiment in July this year. It's reported that China has ordered two S-400 regiments for an estimated $3 billion. On the 5th of October, during India-Russia bilateral annual summit held in New Delhi, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Russian President Vladimir Putin finalized the deal of S-400 Triumph Air Defense. India will get five regiments of S-400 and the contract is worth 5.5 billion US dollars. The delivery is expected to start in the next two years. But there's a difference between what Russia will deliver to India as compared to what's being delivered to China. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how and why India's Russian-made S-400 is better than that of China. Let's get into the details. S-400 can be deployed with a diverse configuration. The primary radar of S-400 is either the 91N6E Big Bird Acquisition and Battle Management Radar or 92N6E Gravestone Multi-Mode Engagement Radar. The primary radars have a range of around 600 kilometers. The main radar is assisted by target acquisition radars like 67N6 Gamma D and 9N6 Protivnik G radars in L band. Nebo SVU in the very high frequency band and Nebo M and Zebu M in multi band. Importantly, S 400 deploys multiple missiles to cover its strike envelope. One, short range 9M 96E, 40 kilometers, with an active radar homing head having a speed of Mach 2.6. Two, medium range 9M 96E2, 120 kilometers, with an active radar homing head having a speed of Mach 3. Three, Long range 48 N6, 250 kilometers, with an active radar homing head having a speed of Mach 14. 4. Very long range 40 N6, 400 kilometers, with an active radar homing head having a speed of Mach 14. The S 400 regiments for China is devoid of the 40 N6 missile. So even though it can detect a target at ranges up to 600 kilometers, they can engage them only at a range of 250 kilometers. The 40N6 missile is not just another missile, but is the crown jewel of S-400. Not only because of its range, but also because of an important characteristic. The working of the missile is unlike a regular surface-to-air missile. The missile is designed to reach a very high altitude of 185 kilometers and then hurled down to the target from that altitude like a ballistic missile. This brings into the table three different aspects. One, it's capable of exo-atmospheric interception of intermediate range ballistic missile in their terminal phase. Two, since the missile follows a ballistic trajectory, so its active radar homing heads will be illuminating the target aircraft from above at some angle. This creates trouble for even the stealthy fifth-generation warplanes since the stealth shape of these aircraft are not as effective in camouflaging them from radar in this situation as opposed to when being illuminated from under the airframe. Three, the missile also picks up speed on the dive like an ICBM as opposed to a regular surface-to-air missile that lose speed in the final leg. This will make it very hard for an aircraft to shrug off. The 40N6 is also a fairly large missile and is equipped with 300 meters radius fragmented blast warhead that's connected to a proximity fuse. So even if the missile doesn't score a direct hit and is a near miss, the target would still be destroyed. There are two factors which individually or in combination have resulted in 40N6 missile not being provided to China. One. Russia is a signatory of the MTCR Missile Technology Control Regime and India has also become its member recently But China is not a member of MTCR According to the MTCR guidelines Russia is not supposed to export or jointly develop a missile with none MTCR nation whose range is more than 300 kilometers Two, Russia is conscious of China's rampant reverse engineering over the years, China has copied several Russian weapon platforms with total disregard for intellectual property rights and contractual obligations. The Chinese have often bought limited quantities and then reverse engineer the weapons. For example, Shenyang J-11 is based on the Russian Sukhoi Su-27. 
and J-15 Flying Shark is an illegal copy of the Russian Su-33. The impact of these copies is so large that some quarters of Russian power circle objected to the sale of the S-400 to China. The deal was eventually sealed after Russian analysts felt the S-400 is too complicated to copy and it seems as an extra precaution they are not providing the platform's most lethal missile. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.